Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. I have this on my Facebook group, uh, Cutting Up with Patty Ann for Cricut and Silhouette. And I asked you guys to tell me which one of the little cartoon characters you would like me to use to show you how easy it is to make uh, these uh, coloring book images into SVGs. I want to make sure I tell you right up front, there's a sale going on right now at Creative Fabrica. Usually it's $29 a month. Right now it's only $13 a month and you get access to all of this stuff, including that pumpkin I made the other day. But here is where I sent people to to look for what they might like. These are just some of the coloring book pages and there are a million of them in addition to other graphics and tons and tons of fonts as well. Script and handwritten. I mean there's just so much stuff and this is all free to you if you only pay $13 a month. You can grab any of this stuff. I love it. I think it's a really good bargain. But anyway, let's let me show you how easy it is to use this. Use this. So to begin with, most of the people requested the sea turtle to start with. However, I think I'll do more than one as it was recommended. So I'm going to, since I own this, uh, the free access, or not the free, but the $13 a month total access, I won't see any prices for any of this, but I do want you to make sure that you see that this does include a commercial license. So you never have to worry about that. Okay. And you get premium support, unlimited downloads, etc. So I'm just going to download this. And I like, um, and since I use Chrome and I use Windows 10, it comes right down here. So I'll click on that to open it. And notice it comes zipped. And I know that because here's the way that I can extract it. So I'll just say extract all and leave it into the file folder in my downloads that it automatically does. Extract. Okay, so there he is. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to Silhouette. And I'm going to open it and I'm going to open this little sea guy who's so cute. Discard in silhouette. So I'm going to open or I could merge, but I'll just say open. Oh, and that's the pumpkin I got there. Remember that I used? Let me show you that. Oh, so pretty. This pumpkin is just absolutely gorgeous. It was $5. If I already belonged to the club then, I could have bought it that way and, you know, not paid $5 for it. It would have been part of my downloads that I could do for the month for 13 So what I want to do is click on this to select it because it's so big. All right. So now I can change its size. I'm going to click the lock to lock it and make it seven inches or something like that, just so you can see how cute it is. But again, as I said, this is what I did the video on yesterday or the day before, I think it was, and I totally, totally love it. Okay, there it is. Isn't that cute? So anyway, that was $5. So if you purchase a $13 a month, look, just this one thing. Anyway, let's get rid of that. No. So I'm going to go to file and open. And what I do want to open now in my downloads folder is that sweet little sea turtle. So I can show you how easy it is to change him into an SVG. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll out a little bit. And I'm going to come back to my page setup. And I'm going to make it uh, auto cameo, I guess. And cutting mat auto going to turn off these things. All right, so you can see there's a big box behind them. So that gives us a clue right from the very beginning that we need to trace that. And to be able to use this as an SVG, we need to trace it first. So I'll make it smaller because right now it's really big. And I'll just scroll in for us. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trace him by coming over to the trace panel. Oh, not the offset, the trace panel that looks like toast or a piece of bread or a butterfly. And I'll say select the trace area. That looks like that traced really well. I could up the threshold a little bit if I want to. I'll trace it. <laughs> so I can move this box away, the part with the box, and just delete it. Now I'm left with him. Let's scroll in. 
So the first thing that I do when I'm making these into SVGs is to go ahead and make the whole thing a light color that I probably won't use in my turtle or in my object. So there's a color. The next thing I'm going to do is I come up here to object, release the compound path. And what that does is it puts little squares around every single thing that make up this turtle. So now what I can do is I can change each one of these to a different color if I'd like. How about if I give them like an ombre effect? Let's see, green, red, okay. So I'll make some of these pink and some of them like a reddish color or maybe not even ombre, but well, I think I will. I'll make that one there and I'll make this one the next darkest and this one the darkest red. So I'm just going through here and changing these colors. All right, and I can start again now. So I'll come up here and I can just start here. But I don't really want it to be that same color, so I'll make it this. No, <laughs> how about that? Okay, and this one, so I'm not really making it ombre, but you know what I could do, you guys? Well, Let's just make them all red. So I'm just going to go ahead and make them all the darker red. So what I'm going to do now, since I'm making them all the darker red, is to click on each one, hold down my shift key, and grab the other ones. And then I can change all of these to red at once, assuming I have them all selected. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay, now let's say I want to change these to like, oh, I don't know. Uh, Let's see, what color? How about a gold? Oh, this is going to be nutty looking, but you'll get the idea anyway. I'm going to change the whole sea turtle to green. A lovely green. Okay, and then this to the same green. And this to the same green. And this to the same green. And these little pieces right here, I'm going to change to a brown color because we had a turtle once and his under part was a little bit brownish looking. And let's see, I'll change his little mouth to red. So all I'm doing is selecting these things. The two little dots here, I'm going to make those white. And let's see this. I'm going to make that same kind of grayish brown. Okay, he's not looking that great, but let's see. I'll make this, all that part, the green. And I'm not really not liking this at all, so I'm going to change these to something else. I'll just make them the same red. There we go. And I don't really like this green color. <laughs> So I'm going to change that to a different green. Yeah, I like that a little better. Okay. And now the eye, let's see. Now what we're going to do is, you remember that thing that we changed to the salt to the one color in the very beginning? I'm going to click around here until I can actually get, what I'm trying to get is the whole outer piece. There we go. Finally got it. See how it's all selected now and it's this light tan color? I'm going to change it to black and that's going to give us a nice look to that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, click on this eyeball, hold down my shift key, click on the other one, then with my shift still held down, click on the green and come way over here to the modify panel and say subtract. And what that did was it subtracted the eyeballs right out so I don't have to cut little black eyeballs. Okay, I noticed a few of my little red pieces are missing, so click that one, hold shift, and get this one. Change them both to red. And now, all these outer pieces here, let's see if I can get them. There we go. See that piece right there? I need to change it to, well, I need to actually hold down my shift key, select the green, and say subtract. So what that did was now it left a hole right there. 
so I don't have to put black on there. The black from behind will show. Same thing on this one. Hold down that. I'll try to get some more. Hold down my shift. Get that. Shift. Get that. I think I'm doing pretty good. Whoa, not that time. Okay. All right, let's see what's going to happen now. I think I got the right thing selected. Modify and subtract. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's see how we're doing. Perfect. Look at that. So this is going to cut out, and it better be vinyl, I guess, since it's skinny little pieces like this. I guess it could be cardstock if I want, though. So I need to do the same thing up here. Click on the light part, hold down the shift, get the green, say subtract. That cut the mouth right out like that. So I'll do it to these as well. That, hold down the shift, and get the outer part, whoopsie, the outer part of all of these. And then the green and say subtract. And that is exactly what we wanted. So he is basically done just like that. Of course, you could make them all different kind of colors. And, you know, depending on if he's going to be a print and cut or not, uh, Let's see, let's group him. You can make him a lot smaller. But here's the thing. If I was taking this over to my Cameo right now, I would say send. And I would cut it by fill color. Because then here are the colors that I have that make up my turtle. Five colors. So I would uncheck all of these. And see if I, can I make him bigger here? Probably not. Let me make him larger for us so we can see well. Okay, send. All right, so if I click and cut the black first, all that's going to cut is this black outline or the black backing. Unclick click that and then do the green. Unclick that and do the tan. Unclick, do the red, and unclick. And of course, I would change this from heat transfer vinyl to whatever uh, I'm using here, whether it be cardstock or vinyl. And I would continue to change these other things as well. Now, if I was using this for Cricut Design Space, what I would do is this. I would come up here to this little paint palette that says select by color. I'm going to change it to by fill color. Because what's going to happen right now is each one of these pieces, whoops, if I ungroup it, each one of these pieces is individual. However, if I select by color and I grab all the red, then I right click and say, make a compound path. Now, all of that red will stay together. Just like over in Cricut, when we take it there, it'll come in as one piece for vinyl or whatever. So the black we don't really need to do because that is just one piece. But the green, we can select that by color. And let's see. So I would right click and say make a compound path. And now instead of it all coming apart, it would be like this. The whites, I can just select them easily like that, make a compound path. And this, now watch, it's separate, right? But if I select it by color and then right click and say make compound path, now it all stays together. So now if we were to go over to Cricut Design Space, Grab all of this, file, save selection, save it to the hard drive, C Turtle SVG, because you can save it as an SVG if you have the business edition. Okay, let's open Cricut. New project. Upload, upload an image, browse. Let's see this. Sea Turtle SVG, there he is. Save. And I'm going to insert him. And I didn't notice what size he was over there. And you know how I usually put the size in my project. But I can make him any size I want now. And if I go to make it, look what's going to happen. The white eyeballs will be like that. Oh, Let's go back for a second. Cancel. I must have made him really big. All right, now let's go to make it. So there's the white eyeballs. There's the black layer, the tan, the green, 
and the red everything exactly where it needs to be so that's how easy it is to make an SVG out of these coloring book images and did you happen to see how many there were there oh my gosh and if you just pay $13 a month you have access to every one of these things oh there's just a, a pile of them let's go back to the first page look at these Halloween things bugs look at this cute little thing I mean there are adorable things right here wouldn't this make a cute SVG oh my gosh so it's just $13 a month and you have access to all of these coloring book pages but that's not all you have access to all the craft designs you have access to everything of this everything on this site look at all these for Halloween that you can do and whether you do um, print and cut whether you do vinyl whether you do sublimation these are fabulous like for example what if you were doing sublimation and wanted to use this how cute would this be on a shirt right but not only that you get tons and tons of fonts and dingbats and everything and graphics look at all these graphics coloring books for adults teaching materials patterns I wonder what patterns is I didn't even get it. oh look at all these patterns you get for free for print and cut oh my gosh look at these cute ones for Halloween <gasps> all right I'm really glad I got this uh, look at all these oh my goodness so that's patterns and there's tons of them I bet there's look even face mask patterns if you're doing face masks with sublimation let's see what crafts is Halloween Christmas let's see Christmas I have no idea I haven't even look at all these I haven't even looked at any of these things yet I was so excited about the other stuff no idea how many pages there are of these things uh, tools font cloud shape cloud don't know what those are yet either bundles hmm get all of this stuff oh my gosh okay like I said I downloaded this this is really cool these are all free to you not free $13 a month and of course you can cancel any time uh, let's see what is I don't know what that even stands for maybe it's print on demand I think I may have seen that term okay I don't know what this is but print on demand what is that no idea I don't know mom life look at that it's kind of scary <laughs> look how many people liked it <laughs> oh my gosh that's funny anyway I just wanted to get on here quickly and show you how easy it is to make an SVG out of these things and you know what remember the other day I said I wanted that Zen font hey 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 there it is and it's now free because or it comes in my pricing of $13 only a month and I love this it's gonna be so cool for foiling all right enough of that uh, like I said the link will be down below it's not going to be there for very long there were only like 144 more subscriptions at that price usually it's $29 a month right now it's 13 so grab it if you're interested and um, use my link if you if you would I appreciate it it helps support my channel and I'll see you again soon because I'm going to do another one of these I'm going to see what other uh, images y'all requested in the Facebook group and hey if you're not a member of the Facebook group join us See you again soon. Bye.